ago, one of the best books ever, The Hungry Thing, by Jan Sleepian and Ann Seidler. Love this book. I remember when I was in um, either preschool or kindergarten, I don't remember. Um, my teacher's name was Ada Grant. I believe I was in um, uh, preschool. And she read me this story, and I still have it, and I love it. So I'll read it for you. The Hungry Thing by Jan Sleepian and Ed Seedler. One day, a hungry thing came to town. He sat on his tail. He pointed to a sign around his neck that said, Feed me! You see right here. The townspeople gathered around the hungry thing. What would you like to eat? asked the townspeople. Schman cakes, answered the hungry thing. Schman cakes, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What could they be? Why, dear me, said the wise man. Schman cakes, that's plain, are a small kind of chicken that falls with the rain. Of course, said the cook. Schman cakes, I've read, are better to eat when you stand on your head. I think, said a little boy. You're all very silly. Schman cakes sound like pancakes sound like pancakes to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some, and the hungry thing ate them all up. Then the hungry thing pointed to a sign around his neck that said, Feed me! What would you like to eat? asked the townspeople. Tickles! answered the hungry thing. Tickles! cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Why, dear me, said the wise men, tickles, you know, are curly-tailed hot dogs that grow in a row. Of course, said the cook. Tickles taste yummy, and you giggle and laugh with the tin in your tummy. I think, said the little boy, it's all very clear. Tickles sound like sickles sound like pickles to me. And they gave the hungry thing some, and he ate them all up. He's underfed. Give him some bread, said a lady dressed in red. It seems to me he'd like some tea, said a fellow up a tree. A bit of ice, rice might be nice, said a baby sucking ice. The hungry thing just shook his head and pointed again to a sign around his neck that said, Feed me. The townspeople tried again. What would you like to eat, asked the townspeople. Feet loaf, cried the hungry thing. Feet loaf, cried the townspeople. How do you eat it? What can it be? Why, dear me, said the wise man. Feet loaf, let's see. It's a kind of shoe pudding that grows in a tree. Of course, said the cook. Feet loaf tastes sweet, and it's eaten by kings who dine in bare feet. I think, said the little boy. You all ought to know. Feet loaf sounds like beet loaf sounds like meatloaf to me. So the townspeople gave the hungry thing some and he ate it all up. He again pointed to his sign around his neck that said, feed me. What would you like to eat this time? Asked the townspeople. Hookies, announced the hungry thing. Hookies, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Hookies, said the wise man, are known in far lands as special spaghetti you eat holding hands. Hookies, said the cook, are a party dish you serve to a guest if he isn't a fish. I think, said the little boy. It's all very simple. Hookies sound like lookies sound like cookies to me. And the townspeople gave the hungry thing some, and he ate them all up. Then he got to his feet, he smiled, patted his mouth on a line of laundry, and turned around three times. Is it true he's all through? Asked the lady dressed in blue. Let's try to say goodbye, said a man with a can. Come again, said some men. But the hungry thing just sat down again, and he pointed to the sign that said, Feed me. What do you want to eat? Asked the townspeople. Golly pops, said the hungry thing. Golly pops, cried the townspeople. How do you eat them? What can they be? Oh, dear me, said the wise man. Golly pops are new. They're a kind of cereal shaped like toys and sugar-coated, too. 
Children, said the cook, buy them by the dozens and trade off the box tops with classmates and cousins. I think, said the little boy, that you all ought to hear golly pops sound like dolly pops sound like lollipops to me. So the hungry, the townspeople gave the hungry thing some and the hungry thing ate them all up. And he pointed to his sign again. Oh, please, said the people. We've been here all day. Isn't there a quicker way? I think, said the boy, that there is. Have some noodles, the little boy asked the hungry thing. And the hungry thing shook his head. Oh, excuse me, I meant to say foodles. And the hungry thing smiled and ate them all up. Just look, said the cook. Let's give it a try, was the cry. So they all got busy. Have some smello, and they gave him some jello. Have some thread, and they gave him some bread. Have a banana, and they gave him a banana. The hungry thing ate and ate, and he looked very full. Is there anything more we can give you? The townspeople wanted to know. The hungry thing politely covered a hiccup and thought for a while. Then, boop with a smacker, he said. Boop with a smacker? Boop with a smacker? What is that? The townspeople asked. The little boy whispered to the wise man, and the wise man whispered to the cook, and the cook gave the hungry thing soup and a cracker. And the hungry thing ate them all up. He smiled and got to his feet. He wiped his mouth on the cook's hat. Just as he left, he turned his sign around and in big letters it said, Thank you. The End The Hungry Thing by Jan Sepian.